Well, Connecticut is what's called a partially closed primary state, which means you can only vote in a primary if you're registered to that party. I talked to a couple of voters in Bridgeport yesterday who thought that they were registered Democrats. They went in to vote, but were turned away from the polls, told that they were registered unaffiliated. The common link between them? the Department of Motor Vehicles. Most voters don't know that this happened because no one's checking their voter history every single day or every month. So they find out when they come to vote. Bridgeport State Representative Marcus Brown told Fox 61 thousands of voters may be impacted. And that's tantamount to disenfranchising voters because so many of them were excited about voting. And in cities like Bridgeport, New Haven, Waterbury, Hartford, the primary is the election. Connecticut DMV Commissioner Tony Guerrera disagrees with the scope of the problem. We haven't gotten that. We've gotten some, you know, one or two calls about this. In 2016, to comply with the National Voter Registration Act, Connecticut launched a system that automatically registers you to vote when you apply for a driver's license or go to get it renewed. The form asks you to check a box for your political party. But if you check nothing, it tells you, quote, leaving this box blank will automatically result in selecting unaffiliated. You may call it an issue. We may call it a mistake, right? So I guess it's how we look at it. Guerrero showed Fox 61 printouts of the digital screens that highlight that provision, along with the multiple confirmations and receipts that a customer gets before and after submission. His message, read carefully. Well, check that last page because it goes through every piece to show you what you've done. And therefore, if you want to change it, that is the time to change it. You can check your own voter registration status anytime on the website for the Secretary of the State. The DMV needs to send a list to every voter who either uh, renewed their driver's license, got a driver's license, registered a vehicle. We always look at things. If we hear some issues that are going on, we'll work closely with the Secretary of State to review some of the screens. If you, to your point, if people find them confusing or whatever it is, let's go back and take a look at it. We did contact the secretary of the state's office to see if they are aware of this issue and if so, how many voters it impacts. As of news time, we did not receive a response back. Reporting in Weathersfield, outside the DMV, Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.